We own the calculus. Can you imagine students getting together and bragging that they could reproduce the entire calculus course they just took if they had a big stack of paper and enough ink on a deserted island someplace? Were they so confident because they had great lectures? No, the professor did not lecture. Was it because they had a great textbook? No, the professor wrote the definitions and the problems on the blackboard. Was it because they did mathematics? Yes. They went home, took the problems, and worked on them, and then presented them in class the next day. The professor assumed the role of a student and sat in the classroom and asked questions about the presentation and uh, wanted clarification and explanation from the student. When those problems were finished, more were given the next day and the students presented solutions then. Every student got a chance to teach the class. This method was called the Texas method or the Moore method, and it was how I learned calculus at the University of Texas from Dr. R.L. Moore in 1955. It's being used today in many colleges and universities nationally and even internationally, and it is currently known as IBL, Inquiry-Based Learning. Actually, it was the way Socrates taught students 2,400 years ago, but I was not there for that. As with the Socratic method, a big part of the success of IBL is that it comes from selecting the right kind of problems and the right kind of questions. I characterize them as problems that teach because when you solve them, you gain some understanding and some insight and some advancement of the subject. Students who want to learn calculus and own it may do so from this book, which is entitled First Year Calculus, an Inquiry-Based Learning Approach by Clement E. Falbo. The material here is a transcript of notes I took in class. I have included all of the problems, the problems that teach, in the text, and I have deliberately included all of the solutions that we got in our class so the readers can compare their answers to the ones we got. The definitions, discussions, and examples are about the same as those we encountered in class. These include some cases in which we had ran into blind alleys, and had to restart the problems and to figure out how to get around the difficulties. The book is designed for self-study or for any teacher who wants to teach calculus in a class that's strongly student-centered.